Music is written on a staff with notes. The staff is a set of five lines and four spaces. Lines and spaces both have letter names. The letter names of the spaces are F, A, C, and E. To remember the names of the spaces, think of the word face. The letter names of the lines are E, G, B, D, and F. Sometimes it's helpful to remember a crutch for the names of the lines. You can use these letters as the beginning letters of words in a sentence. One sentence that is a crutch we can use to remember is the sentence every good boy deserves fudge. The beginning letters of each word in this sentence name the lines and they are E, G, B, D, and F. There are line notes and space notes. When a line goes through a note, it's called a line note. When a note doesn't have a line going through it, it is a space note. Clef signs. are used at the beginning of every musical staff. Another name for the treble clef is the G clef. That's because the spiral goes around the line for G. The bass clef is used for the lower octave or lower notes in piano music. The staff is extended with the use of ledger lines. The first added line below the treble clef staff is uh, named C. And the first added line above the staff is named A. The musical alphabet has the following letter names. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G if we had more ledger lines above the treble clef. The first, um, uh, sorry, if the G note is on a line, then A is in the space above it, and B is on the line above that, and so on. It's helpful to know basic facts about music if you are going to be good at reading notes.